Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be previewing this upcoming Tuesday's meeting, which of course is a feature day of racing, Australia Day. A six race card awaits us on the 26th of January, and with eight riders in attendance, there are some really interesting contests on the day. With Paul Shires back in winning form on his return to race riding at our last meeting, and the addition of Paul Denton from Alice Springs, there's quality to complement the quantity of 42 runners on the day. The first is a Renew Your Membership three-year-old and maiden plate, which I found the toughest race of the day. Five of the eight runners are having their first start in Darwin, and with a mix of three-year-olds and older maiden gallopers, it's a great way to start the day, if not easy to uh, work out. The opener's time to go at 2.44pm Northern Territory time and my numbers are 1, 5 and 3. As I alluded to, I found this race really tough. It's uh, got uh, a number of newcomers to Darwin, uh, two or three of them have trialled recently. But I settled on numbers 1, 5 and 3. I'm going here with number 1, Global Wonder, formerly trained by uh, Mick Price and Michael Kent in Victoria, now in the Gary Clark stable. Adam Nichols uh, takes the mount. Uh, this horse has won two races, both at Tatura, so eight starts for two wins and two thirds. Had a trial here in Darwin on Tuesday. I didn't see the trial, unfortunately. I was uh, in Alice Springs, but uh, they tell me that uh, both uh, Global Wonder and Stablemate obligatory trialled uh, well enough. So they've had a look at the track, and I think uh, that uh, Global Wonder, 60 and a half kilograms, but a two race winner. We're going with him with no great conviction. I've got him on top. To so beat number five, Hajimi Naoki formerly trained by Chris Waller, now in the stable of Phil Cole. This horse won the trial on Tuesday and won it by a, a big space. Uh, admittedly, uh, Alice Lindsay stuck to the inside rail, whereas uh, the rivals came basically down the outside fence, so she had a big advantage there. This horse is uh, a non-winner to date, only had the one second placing, that was at Gosford uh, in a maiden on the 28th of August. But obviously has some ability, and uh, with that trial under the belt, we've got that in to uh, run a bold race. And in for third, number three, kicking goals. Uh, this horse has won on the Darwin track, of course, last time out on the 19th of December, beating Pneumatic Sands. Phil Cole trains, Wayne Davis in the saddle, we'll put that in for third. In a really tough start to the day, one, five and three. The second is the Ladbrokes Handicap, this one for the 0 to 58 Gallopers and the second of our two 1200 metre races on the day. Numbers here 2, 4 and 1, going here with the last start winner number 2 Marcellus, trained by Angie Forster, Adam Nichols in the saddle. Could be in for a fair day, Chippy, he's been riding uh, regular winners uh, just lately and it's good to see. I thought Marcellus, uh, with its good win here on the 2nd of January, was uh, primed to go on with the job. I didn't find this... Uh, uh, a strong uh, 0 to 58 and I thought Marcellus drawn out won't hurt it uh, being out there in barrier 7 uh, could go back to back. Two on top for me to beat number four Bella Rubino, Phil Cole and Alice Lindsay the combo was a winner two starts back and then last time out third behind defence attorney beaten about seven lengths on that occasion but um, now that it's actually found uh, winning form and good form I think it will continue on and in for third number one Kalmar Gary Clark trains, Jared Todd rides. The source hasn't won for 12 months. In fact, it was Australia Day uh, back in 2020 when the source last won, or certainly the 25th of January it was. Uh, so it hasn't won for 12 months. Been lightly raced since, has only had the uh, four starts. Not sure what happened last time behind defence attorney. Finished um, last and, and a long way from the winner, but um, it has ability and uh, too good to leave out altogether. Two, four and one in the second. The thirds, the carnival tickets on sale handicap. I know we're in the uh, middle of January or late January, but the carnival will be here before you know it. So um, uh, get along onto the website and get your tickets for the uh, Great Northern Darwin Cup Carnival 2021. Promises to be a beauty. Numbers here in the third, the 64 over 1100 metres. I'm going with four, three and one. Another tricky little affair, but I thought Hustlin Humph, number four, trained by David Bates and with Alice Lindsay aboard, uh, was good last time when winning in 58 grade. Steps up in grade to the 64, but has won in zero to 62 grade previously and uh, is a winner during the carnival. I think this horse is uh, on the way up uh, and uh, Batesy certainly knows what to do with uh, uh, a good horse. And I think Hustlin Humph's got ability, got it on top. To beat number three, defence attorney, has won his uh, last two from the Tayan Halter stable and Vanessa Rahn at uh, 
uh, goes on board or continues the association rather. She's won on it uh, at the last two starts. I thought its um, last effort to beat a Roman road was good, won by six lengths on that occasion. That was 1,200. Dropping back in trip a little bit may be the only concern, but it must race well again for sure. And in for third, number one, Patriot Day. This, uh, to me, is a really uh, big chance. Dropping in grade from uh, its last two starts in zero to 70 grade, back to the 64. Capable galloper, consistent type. Jared Todd for Gary Clark. Don't leave it out of your multiples. Four, three and one in race three. The fourth's the feature, the Australia Day Cup. It's for the benchmark 76 gallopers worth $23,000 and over the 1,000 metres. Looking forward to seeing the return to racing of number four, Lanagera, trained by uh, Gary Clark, Jared Todd to rides. Only had the two starts in Darwin, won them both, won during the carnival uh, last year and then raced uh, on the 12th of September and won again. Uh, one was over 11, one was over 12. This is 1,000, but this horse has got a lot of ability. Speedy customer. Uh, drawn the outside, but I think uh, that won't be the worst place for it to be. It shows a lot of speed, and I think uh, it'll uh, be very hard to beat. Carries 57 kilograms, and there's some decent uh, opposition, but I'm going with it on top number four, Lanagera. To beat the top weight, number one, Eastwood. He's a quality act, as we know. Uh, carries uh, 62 kilograms, but that will be reduced by a couple of kgs for, with Alice Lindsay's claim. Drawn one, only had the two starts back. He's finished uh, second on both occasions behind Divine Red and the captain. That's good form in anybody's language. He must be hard to beat. And in for third, number three, the newcomer to Darwin, Sibricate, trained by David Bates, uh, formerly trained by the Hayes team uh, there in Victoria. This horse has a second to bivouac, would you believe, uh, as a three-year-old at Caulfield. He's won 275,000, got some really good exposed form. First start in Darwin, uh, I'll be very interested to see how he goes. Four, one and three in the feature, the Australia Day Cup. The fifth is a great northern handicap, but it's the benchmark 54, also over the 1,000. Uh, my number's here, three, two and five. Captain Hedewick for me, uh, Gary Clark and uh, Jared Todd, uh, not surprising that they could be in for a good day. They normally do have uh, good days when they uh, line up their teams here in Darwin. But Captain Hedewick's only had the one start in the top end. Finished fourth on that occasion behind Hustle and Humph and only beaten three lengths. And I thought with well, that run under the belt uh, would take improvement and be very hard to beat here. Three on top for me, Captain Hedewick. Head of number two, Faith and Love. Phil Cole and Alice Lindsay, the combination. Just went too hard the other day, over 1,100, and uh, tired late. The 1,000 metres, I think, will suit better. And uh, I've got it in to run second. Number two, Faith and Love. And in for third, number five, Dancer's Kin. Chris Pollard and Barry Huppets uh, uh, put the polish on this one. Uh, can mix his form a little bit, Dancer's Kin, but um, his last start effort behind Ia Kaleo was pretty good. I think the 1,000 metres suits. Three, two, and five in the fifth. And our last, the Paddock Handicap. That is to be run over 1,600 metres for the Class 2 gallopers. And uh, we always love the mile races here, and we often run them last of the day. Uh, 5.45 it goes, so hopefully we uh, have a fine day and don't uh, have any weather issues come uh, the 5.45 running of the last. Numbers in it, 1, 3 and 4. Going here with Camogli. Uh, Vanessa ran it for Tayan Holter. Last up winner over this trip in, in the Sierra to 64 grade, so probably just dropping back slightly in grade. Uh, beat Island Dancer on that occasion. Goes up in weight, carried uh, 55 and a half last time, goes up to the 59. But I think uh, this horse is uh, finally putting it all together and I'm going for Camogli on top to win its second mile in a row as it heads towards the Sapats Cup. In for second number three, Savas Spur, Chris Pollard and Paul Shires, the combination. Good run last time behind Fort Knox, albeit beaten eight lengths, but Fort Knox is uh, pretty hard to beat when he gets to the 1600 metres. But this horse, uh, his last couple of runs have been good, and I think he'll race well again. And in for third, number four, Island Dancer, a stable mate of Camogli. And Jared Todd takes them out. Two seconds and a third uh, for his last three, and he's certainly knocking on the door. One, three, and four in the last on what's a, a really good card of racing. Best bet of the day comes up in race four, number four, Lanagera. Race four, number four, Lanagera. Really looking forward to seeing this horse step out. Well, the best roughies in race two, number seven, Extolment. Race two, number seven, Extolment. Well, that wraps up this edition of uh, Top End Track Talk. Should be a great meeting on Australia Day uh, with plenty of activities for the whole family to complement the action on the track. We'll be back in advance of our next meeting here in Darwin, which will be the first of seven Friday fixtures through the months of February, March and April. And that fixture's set down for Friday the 5th of February. But in the meantime, good luck.
good punting and enjoy Australia Day.